All right, coming into this game, we talked about it on the show. This was a big game starting out the Queen City Conference between two well-coached teams, especially on the defensive side of the football. And the anticipation for this one was large. Um, West Charlotte undefeated on the season. Um, 3A state title contender. Valley Creek has been highly ranked because of their um, performance, um, namely against Buford out of Georgia. It's a number five ranked team in the country. And now, um, coming off a loss to Gaffney, South Carolina, this is a big important opener in the conference for them. First player of the game, reverse pass by West Charlotte, and a fine freshman, Davion Jones, for a 70-yard touchdown pass. The creativity from Sam Ryder and his staff paying off, and they get off to a 6-0 lead over Mallard Creek. Mallard Creek now coming back. They find Rutgers commit Benjamin Black in the uh, slot. He takes it the distance, but unfortunately, this play does not count because there was a holding penalty on the play that brought it back. Tough break. Right here, this pass intercepted by West Charlotte. And I'll tell you, the thing about this, there was a pre-snap penalty on the play before, and Coach Griner saw what Malik was going to run and set his defense up to take advantage of it. Great coaching. Now, fourth down, West Charlotte goes for it, but the Mallet Creek defense rises up and gets their own fourth down stop right there. Now, second quarter, Mallet Creek, Evan Rambert finds Benjamin Black. This time, this touchdown counts as they pose in the end zone. This is a 50-yard touchdown pass, and Mallet Creek, with the two-point conversion, will take the lead 8-6. to six. Really tight to go in right there. Now this is a fourth down. West Charlotte stops Mallard Creek at midfield, setting up this big play. KD Smith finds his receiver number eight deep down the sideline, setting up a short touchdown run for that aforementioned KD Smith. This is the two-point conversion here by uh, running back Scotty Cooper. And this makes it a 14-8 West Charlotte lead at this point. Now, KD Smith back scrambling. He did this a few times tonight. He was able to find a running back in the flat. Riley Creek misses a couple tackles, and he picks up a big game. This was a big thing that kept drives going for West Charlotte. This field goal was really important right here. This is about a 40-yard field goal right before halftime. And West Charlotte... Takes a 17 to 8 lead into the half. The third quarter, Caleb Knight, the second quarterback from Valley Creek, more of a runner, picks up a 20 yard touchdown run right there. And with the extra point, that makes it 17 15. West Charlotte still in the lead, but now only a two point difference. As you see, the uh, Karen Newton arms right there. <laughs> now, Ramble. Fourth quarter going deep. Pick off by Charlotte commit DeQuinder Williams. This is the first fourth quarter stop for Mallard Creek. Excuse me, for West Charlotte um, in their own territory. Now, Samaritan Page on fourth down breaks a big run, but he blew a tire right there. Couldn't get into the end zone. They line up for the field goal to take the lead, and it's blocked. This is the second West Charlotte defensive stop in the fourth quarter in their own territory. Now, now they with another chance. Evan Lambert back finds his receiver, number 16 over the middle. He almost goes the distance, but Charlotte commit to Quinn Williams tackles him at the two-yard line. First down, Mallard Creek. One up the middle. Short game, if any. Couldn't get in. Second down. One up the middle. West Charlotte defense stops him for no gain. Third down. One up the middle. They rule him down at the half yard line. 
If you slow it down, his elbow goes down at the half yard line. I think it was a good call. Now, after a penalty and a timeout, fourth down from the one inch line up the middle, and the Mallard, excuse me, the West Charlotte defense rises up, shuts the door. Jaden Smith, Michigan commit, leading the charge. And you hear the crowd celebrating. That shuts the door on Mallard Creek. West Charlotte walks away undefeated with a big win in conference, 17-15. to 